Coaching becomes critical, says Henrik Lundqvist. Let's hear from the Rangers head coach, Gerard Gallant, his press conference courtesy of Chase. Turk, uh, just feel like there wasn't enough, not commitment, you guys obviously were trying, but just not enough desperation to get to the spots you needed to be in. I agree 100 percent, yeah. Very disappointing. Okay. General assessment of the overall effort. Not good. Not good enough. Not even close to good enough. You were you were talking after game three about how you needed more pucks to mm -hmm. the net, more bodies at the net. So, and it was a ref refrain from everybody in the room. So, Makes does it job. surprise you that it wasn't good enough in that sense for well, you? I mean, it wasn't definitely good enough. We seen that. It was better the last game, and we asked for something. And sometimes when you ask, it doesn't happen. But it was real disappointing to watch that. I mean, it, they were perfect games. Yeah, we, when we said that, and we talked about that, and you know, we come home and uh, mm -hmm. you know, big crowds. And like I said, the, first, the the overtime game was a good hockey game. Could have went either way, but tonight wasn't. Uh, you know, it was a close hockey game, but we weren't. We weren't, we didn't show up. We didn't play hard enough. We didn't compete hard enough. You know, all we did was yap at the linesman for getting thrown out of the face off. So. A lot of bad things tonight. I mean, the, the score is close for a while defensively. You yeah. didn't give up a whole lot. I mean, I'm sure that second goal, you're, you're probably disappointed with the. It looks like guys maybe got caught out of position a little bit on that last goal. Yeah, and the rush, the, you know, we got up. I left too much of a gap there on them. But, you know, they made a good play and they made a good shot. Like, it wasn't a bad goal. It was a great shot off the post. And, uh, but like I said, the rush shouldn't have happened like that. But is that, are you are you when you're talking about working hard enough? Are you are you more talking about offensively not doing the things you need to offensively do? Offensively not competing and doing the right things. And the neutral zone again too. I mean, first two games we didn't uh, we chipped some pucks. We got the pressure coming across. And tonight, a weak side winger was a little bit lazy and he stayed on the other side of the ice and watched the play instead of supporting it. And how many times did you see us whipping pucks across and then picking them off in the middle? Just the old recipe that uh, when, when you when you look like you're tired or a little bit lazy, that's what happens. We didn't have the support in the neutral zone like we usually do. The the switch with Zabanajad and Trocheck was that just to get a spark Trying or was to it get something more specific? Goal. Trying to wake something up. Mm -hmm. After they scored the goal to go up two to one, you want to see, I'm sure, that desperation to, to tie yeah. it. Did mm -hmm. you see any of that? Didn't see it. Didn't see it. Feel like with the power play, you're you know maybe thinking about switching. Things uh, that around. was the only time they really competed. I thought. I thought the power play, and then not all the time. On loose pucks, we lost those battles. But when we had a chance to move it around and get some shots, I thought we did a decent job with that. But again, all the loose puck battles and the one one you know reaching with hands instead of bumping people, we didn't show up well enough to, to win a hockey game. Is it, Even though it was close, we didn't show up well enough to win. Is it toughest knowing that it was your top guys that really weren't leading the way tonight? Yeah, that was, that was the difference. Yeah, definitely. All right. Thank you. Thank you.